Hello, everyone, and welcome to some Marquette predictions. We're previewing the Marquette Golden Eagles as they head out east tonight at 7.30 to take on the Villanova Wildcats and, of course, another Big East battle. Jack Phillips alongside Dan Evington. Dan, thanks for joining me. Glad to be here, Jack. So before we get into this Big East powerhouse matchup tonight, let's look back at the National Marquette Day game against Butler. Marquette wins that one 76-57. Marcus Howard leads the team with 17 points, followed only by Kobe McCune and Brendan Bailey. They each had 16 points. It was an all-around game for the Golden Eagles. What were your takeaways from that one? I mean, Marquette led from start to finish, which I was not expecting in any way. Butler came in as a 19 team in the country. Kamar Baldwin, a spectacular guard, and Butler has a whole lot of talent. And in that game, the biggest thing for me was that Marquette got pr- production out of guys other than Marcus Howard. Kobe McEwen hit big shots down the stretch. Brendan Bailey was important. A lot of other guys made key contributions, and Marcus didn't need his typical Herculean effort to get the win. Like you said, Dan, it was a really good team win. With that win, they they moved to three games, uh, or on a three-game winning streak. They've won six out of their last seven, and now they're in a three-way tie for second place in the Big East. A win in Villanova would give them sole possession of second place, followed by only 10-1 Seton Hall. They've been dominating throughout the entire season. Regardless, what are your predictions for this one? And who's going to be your key impact player? I've got Brendan Bailey as my key impact player because he matches up really well against a lot of these Villanova players. Sadiq Bay, Jeremiah Robinson Earl, his body type is more suited to play against them. So I think Brendan Bailey needs a really big night tonight. And I think it's a Marquette loss, Jack, sadly. I think they're going to snap their winning streak at the Pavilion. And you know what? It would be a tough loss for Marquette, but at the same time, you're going into one of the hardest places to play in the Big East, so right. it won't be that big of a surprise. Exactly. It's been a fun season so far for Marquette. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going regardless. Thanks for joining me, Dan. Don't forget to follow Matt Yazel at MJ Yazel on Twitter, and of course, Zoe Comerford on Twitter as well, at Zoe underscore Comerford, for their live coverage throughout the entire match, and of course, follow us at MUR Sports for plenty of recaps and previews throughout the entire season. Again, Dan Evington alongside Jack Phillips. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you later.